Hello everyone, this is Siddhartham. This is the fifth module in our hands on machine learning course in YouTube. And this module is all about mathematics behind machine learning. So, we will be discussing about four important topics in math, which are linear algebra, statistics, probability, and calculus. So, let's start with linear algebra. So, linear algebra is all about dealing with linear equations. And the building blocks for this linear algebra are vectors and matrices. So, in this video, I'll try to explain you what is meant by this uh, vectors and what are the different approaches we can take to understand vectors and where we exactly use this vectors in machine learning okay so that's the agenda for this particular video so as i've told you the three approaches includes one is the physics based approach for understanding the vectors and the second one is mathematics based approach and the third one is about computer science approach where we will understand how we deal with vectors when it comes to computer science okay so the first is all about physics based approach so let's say that there is a car and we want to measure a physical quantity so a physical quantity that we can measure for a moving car can be the speed of that particular car let's say that the speed at which the car is moving is about 50 km per hour okay so this is a scalar quantity because when we talk about speed we don't mention the direction in which the car is moving we just tell the magnitude of the speed here the magnitude is nothing but 50 km per hour hence this is a scalar quantity whereas when we talk about the velocity of a car we will tell that the velocity is 50 km per per hour in the north direction so here you can see that we have both the magnitude as well as the direction in which the car is moving so this is an example of a vector quantity so in physics we come across uh, these several scalar quantities and vector quantities so the examples of vector quantities are also you know force and other quantities where we deal with uh, the magnitude as well as direction so the other example is uh, you know mass so mass is an example of a scalar quantity where we just tell the magnitude of that particular mass whereas when we talk about weight it is all about the direction in which the gravitational force is acting on that object so in that case we mention both the magnitude as well as the direction so that becomes a vector quantity so this is all about uh, scalars and vectors when it comes to physics now let's try to understand how a mathematician sees a vector okay so for this we will take a graphical representation of a vector so we will try to take a coordinate system so x-axis and y-axis and we will try to plot the vectors in these uh, coordinate system okay so as i've told you earlier so vectors have magnitude and direction so this remains the same in all the approaches we take so vectors have magnitude and direction whereas scalars have only the magnitude okay so now let's say that we have this coordinate system where we have both x-axis and y-axis. So let's say that I'm naming the x-axis as x1 axis and the y-axis as x2 axis. So you can name this anything you want, but I'll just name here as x1 axis and x2 axis. And here we have two points. Okay. So the first point is 2 comma 2 and the second point is minus 3 comma 2. So we have the points in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. Okay, so I have mentioned the points in this brackets, right? So this is nothing but the vectors. So vector is all about list of uh, the coordinates of a particular point. So if we draw a line from, sorry, if we draw an arrow from this origin, which is 0, 0 to this 2, 2 and minus 3, 2, we will get the vectors. Okay, so you can see the arrow here dear so this this is one vector and this is the second vector so let's consider this as the first vector which uh, starts from this origin and it ends in this point which is two comma two so this is example of a vector and you can see here that this vector has some magnitude here the magnitude is nothing but the length in which it the length it has in this particular uh, graph okay so you can see here the magnitude of this second vector is greater than this uh, first vector okay and we can also see that it is it has some kind of direction okay so it is not in the horizontal direction so it is inclined at some angle so that is the direction of this particular vector so you can mention the one second so you can mention the vectors as 2 comma 2 which is represents the coordinate of that particular point or else you can also mention it as 2i vector plus 2j vector so in that cases we will take this x1 axis as i vector and this x2 axis as j vector okay so this is what we have this is the general uh, you know representation which we are used to in high schools so you can also mention this or else you can also mention uh, you know like this which is 2 comma 2 so this is how we can perceive a vector in a graphical uh, representation 
so two vectors can have the same magnitude but can have the different you know can have different direction similarly two vectors can have a uh, same uh, direction but different uh, magnitude say for example uh, let's say that there is a point here which is 4 comma 4 but it lies in the same direction so in that case the two vectors lie in the same direction but they have different uh, magnitudes okay so you can find the magnitude of the vector by you know using this formula so this formula is all about taking a square root of sum of the squares of the two coordinates so here x1 is 2 x2 is also 2 so let's try to find the magnitude of the first vector so you can see here so here x1 is 2 x2 is also 2 so when we do that we get the magnitude as root 8 so when you just use this magnitude formula for this particular vector vector so we will get uh, 9 plus 4 so this is how you can get magnitude of vector so the next thing is as i have told you we also have a direction for vectors right now let's see how we can find this direction so this is the angle in which this vector is uh, inclined from the horizontal axis so now what i'll do is so let's draw a perpendicular line here from this point to the to this horizontal base so now this is a right angle triangle and we can take this tan theta so tan theta or tan angle is equal to opposite side by adjacent side right so here the length of this opposite side is nothing but two units and for this uh, adjacent side is also two units so when you do that you will get tan theta is equal to two by two and the value is one and the tan inverse of one is nothing but 45 degree so we can say that this particular vector is aligned at 45 degree so this is how you can find the magnitude and direction of a vector so this is how we deal with vectors in mathematics so this understanding is very important because uh, we take the data set and other you know data and uh, the computations of the data will be in the form of vectors and matrices so understanding of these concepts is really important because it uh, you know uh, helps us to understand what is the processes that are going under the hood of a machine learning model and machine learning algorithm because the machine learning models implement several uh, linear algebraic uh, equations and other statistical approaches as well so it is uh, paramount to understand these kind of basic things so next let's see how we understand vectors in a computer science approach so this is very similar to the mathematical approach we have taken but just you know in a kind of different way so this is a scalar scalar is nothing but a number so it can be an integer it can be a float so it just tells a value but when it comes to vector it can be a list of numbers so you know in the previous slide we have seen that uh, it, it is a list of coordinates right similarly we can have a list of numbers and it can represent uh, vectors so in this particular case the vector is two dimensional because we have the x1 axis here and x2 axis here so two axis so we can also have multiple dimensions as well so so for in that case the vector will be you know 2i vector plus 2j vector plus 2k vector if we have three axes so it is also an example of uh, you know vectors but it is in three dimension so you can see here that we have three values here so a vector can be a list with as only one row or it can be a list which has only one column okay so it is very similar to arrays we have in python or c program or other languages so it is very similar to those arrays so let's see so let's say that we have a machine learning problem where we need to uh, find the salary of a person based on their work experience and we have this data set that contains the work experience the number of years of work, work experience of a person and the corresponding salary they get okay so the first element here represents the work experience so a person is you know five years of experience in a particular job and uh, the salary they are getting is about five lakhs per annum okay so this is a, a, an example of a vector because it contains one list with only one column right so we can say that there is another person with 10 years of experience and that person is earning about 10 lakhs per annum okay so these are in examples of individual vectors and the data set we have in our machine learning approaches so it can have uh, you know 100 rows or 100 data points and each of these data points represents one vector so when you put all these data points together all these vector together we will get a matrix okay so this is all about vectors and uh, i hope you have understood what is meant by this vector and what is the you know 
uh, understanding that we take while we are uh, you know approaching a machine learning problem so in the next videos in the upcoming videos i will be explaining you several uh, vector operations like vector addition vector multiplication we also will deal with dot products of vector and cross product in uh, you know both in theoretical way and also in python so and then after that we can uh, deal with uh, matrices okay so i hope you have understood all the contents covered in this video so you can just let me know in the comments if you have any doubts okay so thank you so much